Well, as I sit here in the World Have You Say studio, I've got six TV screens above me tuned to various channels all around the world so that we can keep across all of the breaking news that might be happening. And every time I glance up, there seems to be a little bit of the latest Star Wars trailer, which, of course, was uh, released last night. Um, it was streamed live on the internet. It is Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. It's not released until, well, nearly Christmas, um, end of December. But uh, to try and get people a little bit excited, there was um, a trailer shown last night at an official fan convention in California. And lots of people have been getting terribly excited about this, sharing this online. I have to say, the World Have Your Say meeting this morning was rather animated with enthusiasm from people looking forward to this. But we've brought together two people who have never ever seen Star Wars. Godfrey Elfric is a student in York in the north of England and Rob is a London cabbie. I can't believe neither of you have ever seen Star Wars before. Godfrey, how old are you? I'm 28 years old. OK, so you're, you're relatively young. You might get away with that. Rob, how old are you? I'm 44. Rob, you're 44. I mean, I'm 38 and I grew up with this. This was my childhood. How did you miss it? Uh, I don't know. I think I was just interested more in cars and things on the ground rather than the whole sort of sky thing. That's fair enough. Uh, Catherine in Texas has just gone in touch with us. I am super excited. I used to pretend to be Princess Leia and play Star Wars with the boys when I was about three or four years old. I'm sure many people around the world can identify with that. So, Godfrey and Rob, we gave you some homework today, didn't we? We said sit yeah. down, watch the trailer for the new Star Wars film and seeing as you've never seen anything before, give us your impressions. So, Godfrey, first of all, what did you make of it? It was very low quality. It's not my cup of tea at all. Um, from what I have seen of the old Star Wars films, there's a lot of social problems with them. They're rooted in homophobia, them casual racial stereotypes. The gold robots, uh, C-25 or whatever he's called, is a camp new like coward. The only main female ends up in a space bikini and changed to a horny space slug. But to be the fair, guy, you're talking about all these things. They were from kind of the 70s and 80s, and, and I guess time yeah, has moved on, hasn't it? 30 years on. And, and the, the main bad guy, what's he called? Dark Raider. <laughs> That's just, uh, he's a dark black. Rob you know, Save us. Voiced. Rob Save us. Rob Save us, please. rap music. It's just <laughs> a really bad racial stereotype. OK, Godfrey. Uh, Rob, what did you make of it? Um, I... I, I to be fair, being on the on the road today, I only get on a mobile device, so that I couldn't tell whether it was good quality or not. But um, it, it looked quite exciting. But would it be something that I would that would turn me into the Star Wars thing? I'm not sure that it is really. I, I still don't, don't think it excites me on any level, really. Well, Godfrey and Rob, very bland, very bland indeed for how mad people are going about on about it. It was uh, very poor. I'm going to introduce you to one man who is hugely excited by Star Wars. Paul, Paul Vasalo from the World Have Your Say team. His little eyes lit up this morning in our meeting, telling us how wonderful it was. I'm going to get Paul to talk with you and try and get you to okay. enthuse about Star Wars. Uh, hi, Rob. Uh, hi, Godfrey. Hello, yeah, I have to say, when I saw the trailer last night, I, I was really excited. And I grew up with this. I saw my first one when I was 16, and it's travelled with me throughout my whole life. And, right. guys, it is just the consummate storytelling, storytelling on steroids. It's just brilliant. And yeah. I just really... And, not ever and, 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 Do you have like a problem with the social element of it, like? Well, I know, you know I know there was. I think, I, I think there was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Um, there I was mean, one. Is this film produced by Disney or have I, have it's Lucas I, Films? Have I it's Lucas is, Films. Is Disney involved? Um, that I'm afraid that detail I don't exactly know. I, who's I the production Disney company? Involved, like, I'm going to find out now. Bear with me. Feminist track record of making some very strong feminist films like Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, things like that. You should stick to making more films like that in my book. Oh, but hang on, let's not get into the Disney thing. I mean, Disney as well. Don't get me started on Frozen. I mean, that that is yeah. it, that is not about. In some ways, it empowers women, and in other ways, it just makes them into sexualized objects, which little yeah, girls it watch, and it's and terrifying. Star Wars, so Star Wars had one lead female character, and like I said, she ends up in a gold space bikini, chained to a giant horny space slug. It was it was it reeked. It reeked of misogyny. Well, but that's I mean, not in the that's not in the current trailer, is it? There's there's none of that. Like, I mean, there's no I Princess mean, no, Leia. That's the one we all talk about, and this is the this is the reason this new film's coming out. Is them old ones? I mean, 
it's just going to be more of the same. And I don't think the world needs anything like that at this time. Well, it's, it's you know, a thing to be focusing on. I really think we, we're missing something here. This is this is a story. Yeah, it's like th- past, actually. Yeah, this is a story that has the full gambit of human emotions: hate, jealousy, loathing, yeah. love, friendship. Love. I, I, the story about love and friendship is very strong in the film. In all the are films. There, are there any uh, strong female leads in the film? This new film. Well, uh, I, uh, saw, I think one female in yeah. the trailer. Yeah, Princess Leia is coming really back. Is it, really? My understanding. Um, um, they just don't get with me. Come in, Rob. Can I, can, can, I just, can I just ask a simple question? As someone who's never seen it, um, what is the actual story about? Uh, just a basic uh, rundown of, of what, what Star Wars actually was. Because all I can remember from a kid uh, seeing the clips on the television was, you know, a spaceship running around and, you know, a good-looking blonde guy who was seemed to be the centre of attraction. And the only person I can remember as an actor was Harrison Ford. And that, that's the only recollection that I have of it. Um, but what was it, what was the actual basic outline of the film? What was it? What was it supposed to represent, or what direction was it supposed to go in? It's a, it's storytelling. It's 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 a storytelling, uh, a really classic storytelling of good versus uh, evil, and the right. triumph of, the triumph of your friend of friendship and love, and sticking to with your friends, and the good guys win. I mean, it's right. a, it's consummate escapism, and right. and for 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 me as a sixteen year old and following through my life, it was just brilliant. And I just I, I, I can't wait. My my one big disappointment when I saw the trailer was I have to wait to December. I mean, it's, right. you know. I, I just can't wait to to, to see it, and I, I think that I think it being a little bit unkind and unfair to the storyline. I think there's a lot of positives in the storyline. That I, I think there there are a lot of strong roles, and, and they really emphasise they really um, emphasise friendship and love, and the triumph of good over evil, and sticking together and having a jolly good time in space. I think there's positives in all things. I mean, if you put hands in public, you've got to buy nice new jeans. Every cloud has a silver lining. I have to say, so, I know, Godfrey, you were talking about you, you weren't very impressed, you didn't think it was very slick, but one of the real appeals that I always remember of the original, original Star Wars movies was watching it back in the last few years and seeing all of the continuity mistakes. There was a massive thing online, wasn't it, the social media, the stormtrooper hitting his head on something as, as he was walking along. Yeah. Help me here, Paul, I can't remember which film that was, but one of the films where basically the stormtroopers were coming along and then they never edited it out. And I don't know if it's because they didn't have the budget, the time, whatever it was, but it was... Um, a fantastic moment. It's worth me saying I have just looked online and you are absolutely right. Disney did buy Lucasfilms uh, back in 2012. Uh, Godfrey, thank you for speaking with us uh, from York. Rob the cabbie in London, thank you. And Paul Vasale from The World Have Your Say team. That's all we've got time for. That programme absolutely flew by. Thank you for so many of you getting in touch with us on Facebook. We're being inundated with your comments at the moment and I promise you we do read through all of them. Keep getting in touch with us on WhatsApp. Keep getting in touch with us on social media, suggesting any stories that you think we should be covering here on World Have Your Say. Hip-hop, 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 hip-hop